Hello everyone, I'm Sebastian Y and this is Foundations of Economics. In this video I'm going to solve an exercise showing the welfare impacts of an excise tax. We have a graph of a supply and demand curve here and we are told that there is an excise tax of three dollars. The first thing we always want to do with this is to draw the tax wedge. We want to find a quantity that is demanded at a price three higher than it is supplied. That's going to happen right here at 20 where if we draw our wedge of length 3, that gets wedged right in there between the demand and supply curves. Looking at the points where our tax wedge sits, we have 6 and 3, which are 3 apart. This will be the information we need to answer the first three questions. Quantity sold with the tax is 20. Price received by sellers is 3. Price paid by buyers is 6. I'm now going to label up our graph with the four areas that we need to calculate. We have consumer surplus right here, that's a triangle above the buyer price and below the demand curve. Then we have producer surplus down here, that's going to be above the supply curve but below the seller price. Tax revenue is going to be this box in the middle here with a height of the tax wedge. Finally, we're going to have this triangle right here, the deadweight loss, which is the welfare loss due to our tax. To calculate the total tax revenue, we can look at the box on our graph, or we can remember that tax revenue is just the quantity times the size of the tax, which is 3. That's going to be 60. The consumer surplus is a triangle. It has a base of 20 and a height of 10 minus 6 based on our blue triangle. Divide that by 2, we end up with 40. For the producer surplus, we also have a triangle. It's the red one this time. Base of 20 again, but this time a height of 3 minus 1. Divide that by 2, comes out to 20. And finally, for our deadweight loss, that's still a triangle. It's the green one. has a base, looking at it sideways. 6 minus 3, which comes out to 3, the size of the tax, and a height of 30 minus 20. That is the quantity that is lost due to the tax relative to the original equilibrium. That's going to come out to 3 times 10 over 2, which is 15. We'll go down here and fill everything in. We have a consumer surplus of 40, producer surplus 20, deadweight loss 15. If we wanted to calculate the total surplus, we would take the sum of the tax revenue, consumer surplus, and producer surplus. So that would be 60 plus 40 plus 20, which is 120. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.